What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Josh with Wrights Woodworks and today we are going over the differences between the OM Tech 60 watt MOPA compact series fiber laser and then comparing it to one of the regular OM Tech fiber lasers. Going over all the differences and help you make an educated decision on which one you want to purchase. Let's get started. All right guys, the first thing we need to do is make some room for this bad boy on the table. So we're gonna scoot over our current fiber lasers to make enough room for this uh, compact series to fit with what little space we have. So let's see if we can make this work. All right, so we got it to fit on the table. All four fibers are fitting. You see the huge difference in size between the compact series on the far right and the regular size, standard size uh, Galvos and Mopas from OM Tech on the far left. All right, the first main difference we have is obviously the size of the work beds. Um, the overall size for the compact series is 13 across by 16. And on the regular size fiber lasers, whether it's Mopa or Galvo, uh, they're really close to 22 inches deep by 14 across. So that's a good, I mean, they're pretty close as far as the width, but it's the depth difference of about six to seven inches. The thing you need to think about with the standard units is they come with a tower. Uh, the towers are 18 inches deep, eight inches wide, and 15 inches tall. Whereas the compact units, it's all built into the base, creating a huge opportunity for space saving. If you have limited space in your shop, but still want to get a fiber, this would be the unit for you. Everything is included all in one. The next main difference is the number of threaded inserts you have, uh, which are used to you know, bolt down jigs or bolt down your chuck rotaries. Um, they're very limited on the compact series compared to the standard. Plenty of room for larger jigs and also to bolt up your chuck rotaries. Over here uh, might be an issue for the chuck rotary in order to bolt it down and still have room um, for the laser to work. The workaround for that would be to get an aftermarket table that automatically threads into this, and then it'll widen up your space in order to bolt down your chuck rotary. Those aren't currently available from OM Tech, but are available from other manufacturers online. All right, the next difference we have between the two models is the size of the towers. On the compact series, you have a 15 inch tower. On the standard units, you have a 22 inch tower. The only issue I see with that is if you're trying to do a, you know, use a rotary with a cup, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to get that tower high enough on the compact series to hit that cup in the correct focus height. There's not an issue on the standard units uh, with that since there's so much um, Z axis or tower height in order to, to reach that optimal focus height. If you're just doing flat stuff like these, you know, flat divot tools, there's not really going to be an issue. It's where you get those higher depth products that you're trying to engrave. That could be an issue on the compact series. Another difference is the length of the laser head. On the regular units, they're about 23 inches and they extend about another three inches off the, the base of the machine, the work area. On the new compact series, they're 16 inches long and they're, they're flush with the back of the, the table there. So, that's another big difference between the two. Um, so you'll need to accommodate for that, that depth if you're looking for the standard unit versus the compact series. Outside of physical characteristics, some of the big differences that we've seen that we kind of covered in the last video is the weight. Um, the weight of these machines with the tower, you're looking at 75 pounds. These units right here are sitting just under 40 pounds. I think it's like 39.4 pounds. Um, that would be an awesome machine just as it sits in just one piece unit to take to like trade shows, um, using your booth to customize on the spot. Um, really all you would need is power and some other, you know, safety measures, um, that you find fit for your applications. Another, uh, big difference is the cost. Comparing 60 watt MOPA standard to the 60 watt MOPA, uh, Compact series, you're looking at a difference of $2,000. Um, online, from OM Tech's website right now, 
without sales, just regular price, because when you watch this video, the sales could be off. There is a sale right now, but the regular price of the standard unit, 7,000. Standard price, regular price of the compact series right now is 5,000. Um, they are on sale currently as of the release date of this video. I'm not sure how long that'll last. Um, they are available in six different options. You have three Galvos and three Mopas. The Mopas come in 20, 30, and 60. This is a 60. And the Galvo versions come in 20, 30, 50. Um, currently, right now, with the sale price on the 20 watt Galvo, they start at route, right around $1,500. So it's a great entry machine. Doesn't take up much space at all. It's going to pack the same punch as the other units that are twice its size and weight for that matter. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm really impressed and I can't wait to get it started. In the next couple videos, we'll be uh, running some projects, um, doing some metal work on some golf divot tools, doing some leather work and some other products that I currently make for customers. And uh, I'll show you guys how to make them as well. So appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. If you have any questions, make sure you ask them below and I'll do my best to answer them. See you next time. Thank you.